get everything together. Voila, guys, take a look. Boom, boom, boom. Voila, big, uh, almost ready. You can press the air to the cross, and that's what we got right there. Shh. Soft and crunchy. Come closer. Boom, baby, voila. Take a look. Wow. Three, two, one. Wow. Go. Boom, baby, voila. It's ready, this is the consistency. Like you can see, it's nice, it's not sticky. Is the way how to build the gluten really strong. Building the gluten really strong, that means that you're going to have more air inside the dough. Come to the best pizza channel. Hello guys from Maestro Tio Copelli, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a real next level because uh, today I just had this new series of next level pizza dough. But today, I mean, we don't lose time. Boom, boom, boom. Voila, guys, take a look what we have here. You know what's this? This is Biga. Guys, Biga. So <laughs> get ready, sit down, invest your time because this is going to be a really informative video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make next level bigger pizza dough. Everything about bigger. So get ready because uh, we have a special guest. We have a special guest today, which is, of course, <laughs> hello, the hello master, everyone. The master Roberto thank you, Susta. Thank you, thank you. A Rita. master of bigger. He drove directly from Naples to Bari. Thank yes, you so yes. much, Roberto. So, are we ready to make it next yes, level? Yes, I'm ready. Bigger. In now, in today, top level. Next level. Next level, sorry. Which means we are going to go in deep in the recipe. So, sit down, get ready, and uh, let me show you how to make the bigger. The first step. Roberto, Bye. let's make the bigger allora. and see what we need. So, basically, we need... Uh, Vai. Acqua fredda. Half a liter of uh, very cold water. Three grams of dry yeast put the, inside the water. And then we need one kilo of uh, cold flour because today it's hot. So we, had, uh, we put everything in the fridge. So let's uh, melt the, uh, the yeast in the water. Yes. And this is a very simple step, guys. And uh, very uh, easy. Yes, yes. So let's melt the yeast. Yes. We dump everything inside the flour. Poi usiamo un tappo ermetico. So make sure you get the, the container that is really sealed, seals really good. Close it and uh, watch the magic happen. You okay. don't get dirty with your hands, nothing. Voila, take a look, the magic is gonna happen. Voila. Very simple. So you're gonna mix it up for about uh, three to four minutes, just like that by hands. This way, we activate the uh, the fermentate the leavening process. Adesso controlliamo. Get everything together. Voila, guys, take a look. Pum pum pum. Voila, biga, almost ready. Roberto, yeah. what's biga? Che cos'è la biga? You can explain this in Italian and uh, yes. really quick in really couple of words, very simply. And I'm gonna put some subtitle. Sì, per me la biga è un lievito madre a fermentazione alcolica. Perché ci mettiamo il lievito di birra. Il lievito di birra attiva la fermentazione alcolica. Fantastic. And what's good the biga for? Why we make the biga? Allora, i benefici della biga sono molteplici. Uno perché attivando la fermentazione con un preimpasto solido noi possiamo avere più elasticità. It's very technical and that's why it's next level sì. bigger because we're gonna get into uh, is in deep of this recipe and then please guys make sure you share mm. because this deserves eh. a huge share. Ok, perfetto. La ciotola deve essere pulita. The bigger si it's pulisce ready. perché c'è il leccapentole perfetto, che Fantastic. Okay. So this is the consistency that we want for the bigger. Perfetta, perfettissima. Sì? Voilà. È pronta. Ok, now. Riattappiamo. Close it. E 
so directly right away in the fridge from 16 hours to 24 hours in the fridge i also have the the dough the big already okay. ready <laughs> let me put it in the fridge yes and then like a magic after okay. 24 hours this is 24 hours yes. the bigger it's the bigger uh, the bigger it's it, ready this is the fridge so this is how you find the bigger after 24 okay. hours that's how it is nice and uh, ferment fermented not laminate so now we are ready to make uh, the recipe get a pen write it down i'm gonna make it really simple we're gonna make it really simple okay, okay. siamo pronti facciamo l'impasto sì. okay. We need uh, one kilo of uh, cold flour, any flour. One liter of uh, really cold water. 60 grams of uh, regular salt. salt. Three extra grams of uh, dry yeast. So dry people yeast. ask me why you add the yeast after? Perché aggiungiamo l'altro lievito? Non aggiungendo lievito si riduce il potere della fermentazione. Fantastic, very simple and uh, we got this yes okay guys ready so this is the it's very important the oh. it's very important the uh the order how you put the ingredients in the dough machine so first of all we put Prima, the, the biga. biga just like that don't break all, the biga all biga we need the whole with the whole biga so now we put the flour the old flour it's very simple guys just follow the steps and then you'll be good the extra dry yeast, if you have Very fresh yeast, then we lievito. put the, okay, voila, now the water, guys, this is very important because uh, see how cold is the water, take a look how is the water, did you see how cold it is, so this is important when uh, it's hot, when okay. it's uh, uh, like decent temperature you can use uh, okay. room temperature Più little meno. by little we no. have to put uh, Adesso mezzo litro we have to put only half amount of the water so half a little water okay voila so now we are going to put the salt in the water so now let's go ahead and uh, speed number one slowly we're gonna put all together so this process usually takes about uh, 15 minutes so I'll see in 15 minutes and I'm going to show you how is the dough. Uh, so thunder. basically now we are building the gluten. When the dough machine gets uh, like a, that you are feeling that it's getting uh, like a under uh, too much, uh, it's slowing down, it's getting too hard the dough. So now is the time to add little by little the water. Yes because you are building the gluten really strong. Okay, see, Vedi come si ferma. it's going down. Fatto, che si va Did you see that the, it's going, it's working really hard, the dough machine? So that means that now it needs water. Right. A bit and add gently, okay. just a little bit, not too much. Guys, you have, to get a, you have to get a chair, sit down like Roberto and make the dough. This is the only way to make the perfect bigger yes. dough next level and follow the step because guys trust me this is he's the guy who invented the biga in the pizza so the best video on the internet is this thank also. you thank you Vito. Right. so little and by little down, eh? add the water like it's raining if you want to surprise someone this is the way how to make the dough and then you'll notice that the water with salt will build the gluten not ancora it's very important this step because this way is the way how to build the gluten really strong. Building the gluten really strong that means that you are going to have more air inside the dough. Praticamente più il gluten è costruito bene, più il gluten è costruito bene, più aria ci sarà nel nostro impasto e più alberi. La pizza si gonfierà. And of course, your pizza is going to be nice and puffy with a lot of air. No air. Mm. All right. Adesso, adesso. I always adesso nice right now. Now, now. Little by little, let's add the water, like it's raining. Did you hear this sound? The sound of love. <laughs> wait, Beautiful wait. Sound. Listen this, listen. The sound of love. <laughs> 
We're gonna add the, the last little water, just like that. Little bit. Okay. And the water is complete down. Did you see? Finish. So this process uh, takes about 20 minutes. Now we wait a couple of minutes that the, this water will absorb and the dough is ready. See, the, the, the gluten is built really well. It's nice and spooling properly. If the dough will get broke, that means that if the dough will broke, it's not like this, that means that your flour is uh, uh, old or it's too hot, it passes the temperature. Okay, the dough, boom, it's ready. It's ready, this is the consistency, like you can see, it's nice, it's not sticky, and it's perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get a bowl, little bit of uh, olive oil, on the top, just like that, voila, and, uh, and now let's get it and take it out. Did you see how strong it is? So you have to cut it like the fresh mozzarella. Look, voila, take it out. Poi fai notare l'impastatrice è pulita. Little bit of olive oil in your hands, just like that, tap tap, Mezz'ora. tap tap on top. Poi facciamo i panetti. Cover up on top. And one. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So now we leave it at room temperature for about 30 minutes or so. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, guys, here you go. 30 minutes passed by and the dough still looks the same. <laughs> so now we are ready to make the balls. So let's get the, the container. You need to have every... Whoa, 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 stay calm. Stay calm. Nice, you feel the air inside. Suona di vuoto. Vuol dire che c'è gas. Gas. Vai. The dough will be sticky, but uh, always what I do personally, I get a little bit of uh, olive oil, and then I put it in my hands. This way, tap, 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 tap on top, and this is the easy way. So you get, attenzione, vabbè, fate un po' più là, scusami. The, the, the space is tight. So when you put a little bit of uh, olive oil, it's more easy to make the ball. Like you can see, the dough is nice and strong. You have to pull it and make the dough balls about 280 grams. The dough is really strong. Voila. So like you can see, this is a little bit too big. I always suggest to you to scale the dough balls because uh, the more it's big, the more, dough, more, the more is the weight, the more big will be the pizza. If you are watching this dough, is the next level, so that means that you already know how to make the balls. So let's put the dough, everything inside. Aspetta, voilà. Okay, now, boom, we close it and we let it rest for one hour to two hours at room temperature. It depends the, the room temperature. Of course, if it's hot, will grow faster. If it's colder, will grow less. So I'll see you in uh, about one hour. Perfect. Today we're gonna make two special pizza, the original uh, Pizza fiocco. Oh, the original pizza fiocco. <laughs> and uh, another one, my grandmother just made the parmigiana barese. So, guys, we're going to make uh, parmigiana pizza and the pizza fiocco. So, here's what you all the ingredients that you need tomato sauce, some prosciutto cotto, some uh, parmesan cheese, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, cream, pepper, and uh, potato for the pizza fiocco. So, but most important, for the next level pizza dough with biga, here is the dough after one hour and 30 minutes. Are you ready? Come closer. Boom, baby, voila! One hour and 20 minutes on the clock, this is the dough. Take a look, take a look. Boom. Wow, boom. Mm. Smells good. Boom, boom. And it's eat. And more flour. You get eat. Fantastic, so guys, Let's get ready to make the pizza. So the first pizza, the honor of the first pizza, Roberto. Thank you, thank you, Vito. That's your turn to make the pizza fiocco original. The first Enough. pizza fiocco. The original. The original, pizza fiocco. yes, really. Today you are going to see how it's made. And after, I'm going to make the pizza with parmigiana. So, bye, Roberto, bye, let's your go. turn. Bye. No, no, piano, piano. See, si. voila, boom, baby. Chiudo. Bye. Space, space, because we want to see how, we want to copy how you make the pizza. Hai capito? Vogliamo copiare 
<laughs> i tuoi segreti. We want to know all the secrets, guys, because uh, in this channel is no secret, corretto? Don't have secret. No secret in my channel, guys. So go I ahead. Don't have a secret. Go ahead, subscribe and share. All, wow. all normal recipe. Hey. Quando i pizzaioli dicono spingete l'aria fuori a cornicione, qua lo possiamo dire. Vedi? So now, yes, you going, you can press the air to the cross, <laughs> and that's what we got right there. Okay, Robert, I'm excited to see the result of this pizza. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, cream as a base, whipping cream. Fantastic. Prosciutto on top, this is cotto, ham, quality ham of course. Then we got fresh mozzarella on top, just like that. Mm, delicious. Delicious, via, fantastic. Voila, and now, now the secret ingredient, guys. <laughs> Real potato. Potato, so fiocco. to see how these potato are made, he doesn't want to show, that's his secret, respect for that. So basically, it's a boiled potato with uh, some other kind of ingredients. Olive oil, can I say no? Okay, now, boom, boom, boom. Top secret, all Voila. the recipe, top secret. The secret of, uh, of this potato, or his potato, is that it needs to be not like a glue. So you're gonna make it rain. Make it rain, yes. make it rain. Not Voila, glue. boom. You. Generous, uh, Generous on the pecorino or grana padano is yes. the same, because pecorino sometimes is too, 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 too much flavor. A little bit pepper. of black pepper. Voila. Voila. A little bit of olive oil on top. Voila. Just like that. Outstanding. Now, can I go? The Sorry. pizza is ready, guys. Sorry, one moment. Sorry. A little bit of flour on these fantastic Five. peels. Gently. Make sure it's not Five. sticky. And then one shot. Okay. Okay. One shot. Wait, wait, wait. Up, up. Opa, voila. Op, op, op. Now he's going to fix this piece of art. 12 inches, magic. Magic, magic, touch, magic. You wanna go, I go. I go, go. I have the honor of cooking <laughs> the... I have the honor mm. of cooking the original pizza fiocco. Boom, one oh. shot! Bye. Fantastic. So, let me make space. Guys, wait, because I'm going to make a special parmigiana pizza. The pizza needs to be cooked at low temperature, just Yes, low 700. temperature. 700. Fahrenheit. Mm. Two minutes. Two minutes. Around two, 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 minutes, two minutes and uh, a half. Guys, the pizza is pumping. This pizza is pumping. Pizza is almost ready. We are going to see the next level bigger pizza dough in a few seconds. Three, two, one, yeah. go. go! Voila. Take a look of this pizza. Mamma mia, what's going on, Robert? Shh. Ah. Shh. Soft and crunchy in the same time. Oh my god. Oh. 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 I got the Enjoy this pizza. Guys, before we taste, you have to see. You have to see. Okay, Roberto. Bye. I want to show you one body style pizza, but made with the Neapolitan pizza though, because uh, the big uh, next level Don't here. No problem. Sorry. The bigger next level here deserves to be Neapolitan style with the crust. <laughs> so let's stretch. Ooh. Soft. I can feel the air to the crust. Voila. This pizza, a little bit of tomato, not too much. Just lightly. We go also a little bit on the crust. Lightly fresh mozzarella, just like that. Take a look. Parmigiana. Very good. My grandmother made this just today. <laughs> so we cut a nice piece. It's still hot from the oven. Just like that. Ah. And we get the piece done right there. Just like that. Beautiful. Wow. Very, very food porn. Yeah, this is a, this is a, voila. We don't want to put too much, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Wash your hands. And now we go in the oven. 
Then one shot, boom, voila. Now pinch it, this way we don't touch the crust and make it large. Voila. Voila. Siamo pronti? Let's go. Voila, let's go in the oven. One shot. Wow. Wow. Like I say, boom, 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 baby. So we cook it for two minutes and then you're going to see. You're going to see. Oh. You're going to tell me your honest opinion okay. on this pizza. Okay. Roberta understands English too, so don't worry about it. That's why I speak English with him. So, three, two, one. one. Go. Boom, baby. Voila. Wow, beautiful. Take a look of this pizza, please. Beautiful. Please, uh, hold on, the final touch. The final touch. <laughs> Voila. This pizza, deserve, this pizza deserves a little bit of base so to give a nice color. Voila. Voila. Oh my God. Vai con l'olio, vai. Just a little bit of olive oil on top. Uh, wow. This pizza. Tell me what you think in the comment. Now we're gonna taste it. Pizza fiocco. Um, Pizza parmigiana. Or parmigiana pizza. <laughs> and now, the moment of the truth. We have to see the cross. We have to show them the cross. So, let me get this part right there. We cut with the scissor because uh, to not uh, to not make look bad the pizza. <laughs> Are you ready? <coughs> Ami, come here, vieni vicino, vieni. Oh. This is the crust. Look at this, soft and crunchy in the same time. Did you see the water? The moment of the truth. Beautiful. Beautiful. The magic moment. I mean, come here, come here, come here close. Vieni, vieni, vieni vicino, vieni, guarda qua, guarda. Soft, crunchy, chin chin, Roberto. Chin chin chin. Ok. Mm. 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 Ah, your pizza fiocchi is always unique. Very good. Good job, Look at the cross. Good job. Wow. I mean, it's so light too. Guys, what can I say? Subscribe, share, please, and uh, like this video. And of course, guys, check out uh, his Instagram and YouTube channel. Go ahead, subscribe to him. Thank let, you. Let, let him grow to at least 50,000 subscribers. This way, he can uh, start to he can start to uh, dedicate a little bit more on YouTube family because this is my family. bigger family it's my family you know bigger family. they changed my life they can change yours too thank you so much guys i'll see you at the next one see you soon i'll see you later ciao ciao